What's up guys, Alex here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're checking out two incredible camera bags that are both under $100. Let's find out if either of them are right for you. Guys, so this is the Terion XP Pro and this is the Terion XH. This one goes for $90 on Amazon right now and this one goes for $72. I wanna give you a little backstory on how I found these. A few months ago, I was looking for a new camera bag because all I had was a camera satchel. Not enough room and definitely not enough room for all my gear and it's really kind of unprofessional for what I have right now. So after a ton of research, I found these two bags and they were easily my top picks. So I reached out to the company and asked if they'd be willing to send them out for me to make a review with my honest thoughts and opinions and and they did, which is amazing. So huge shout out to Terion for sending these out to me. None of this is sponsored. These are my own thoughts, but they were super cool and sent them out and their community is awesome. So if you wanna go get one of their stuff, if you follow their Instagram, they are super great about reposting people's pictures. They're really engaged with their community and it looks like they really love creators. Ever since I've been working with them, they've been nothing but kind to me. So all that being said, let's talk about these bags and figure out if either of them are right for you. These are both amazing backpacks and I think they're right for different people. Let's talk about some of the similarities and differences though. Obviously both have the roll top feature. This one's a little bit more space on the roll top because it's a smaller 11 liter bag. This one's 14.7 liters. So it has a little bit less space on the roll top but they both are adjustable. So if you have extra gear you need to take, these can easily expand to fit all of your stuff. They both have plenty of space for cameras. This one has more room obviously as a bigger bag. Uh, I have six lenses and two cameras, a mic, an SD card case, and plenty of other random stuff like a zoom recorder and all sorts of good stuff. And this one can hold every single thing I own. Well, this one can hold a pared down version of something which is like, I don't know, three lenses. I think I had my G7 and one of its lenses in there as well. Uh, I'll show you the insides in just a second. I've removed everything out of it so you can get an idea for whether or not it'll fit your gear. Uh, but they're both able to hold a lot of stuff. And uh, this one has a side axis on it. So if you want that, the Pro model has it. It also has plenty of pockets in there. You've got stuff for SD cards, micro SD cards, whatever you can think of, it's right there. And that side axis is super nice. If you're a wedding photographer or a run and gun filmmaker, uh, they both have these tripod holders on each side and the water bottle holders on the side pockets have a great amount of extension. So if you have a larger water bottle, it's gonna fit totally fine in here. Uh, but the other nice thing about this one is that it has a space where if you're traveling, uh, you can easily put this on your luggage. Uh, your luggage handle can go through here. You can put it on your suitcase when you're traveling. It also has a removable waist strap, which I obviously have removed. And as you can see, even the waist strap has a ton of padding to help remove any stress from your back if you're carrying this for a long time and a few extra pockets and pouches for all your gear. Both backpacks have tons of padding on the back of them. The backpack straps themselves are super comfy. Uh, this one I think might even be a little thicker for the straps for some reason. They have these little loops if you need to have any kind of carabiners with a water bottle, you name it. All your stuff's here. You get to your laptop from the back of this one and you can't get to the laptop unless you were to lift up the straps themselves. Uh, even though it's a smaller backpack, there's still plenty of room for a 16 inch MacBook Pro because I put mine in here with a case on it. Uh, so in case you have a larger laptop, this will still easily fit it. Now another difference you need to know is that the XP Pro has on the front zipper, instead of access to the camera gear, you have a couple of small zippers here. Maybe cables would fit in here, an iPad. It's not super well padded, so I don't know if I'd put an iPad in here, but you totally could. Uh, some cables, I've put my iPad in here if I knew I was handling it. And both of these bags, of course, fit in planes. They're both considered personal items, uh, so you don't have to use this as a full-on carry-on, but they'll both be great no matter where you're going. All right, now a little comparison with both of them open so you can see all the space in here. Every single one of these dividers is completely removable. Uh, this one has kind of like a, a silky almost, like a plasticky feel on the dividers, while this one is 
fully fuzzed out. They're very soft, kind of felty interior. Uh, I obviously don't feel like one of those is a deal breaker over the other. This is just a little bit nicer. This one also has tons of these little straps. So if you have some larger things, like you're laying a 70 to 200 in here and you wanna keep it nice and tight, uh, both of these have these kind of protectors, I wanna say, that allow you to make sure that all of your gear is super compact and held to the bag itself. Nothing's moving around any more than it should, and I love that as well. It's an extra feature, and it also keeps moisture and other stuff out. Now, which of these bags is right for you? In my opinion, if you have a single camera body and plenty of accessories, this is the perfect bag. I love the hard case front on this. Uh, I like the look of it. Honestly, it's kind of neat having this kind of off tone. Uh, they both come in both sets of colors, so if you like one color more than the other, you can easily get a silver on the Pro model. Uh, but if you have two cameras, several lenses, and quite a few accessories, this is really the bag that you should go with. It's got a lot more pockets, it's got a lot more room, and that side access is kind of clutch. And if you're a traveler, being able to put this on your suitcase wherever you're going just makes it all the more convenient. In the end, I've used both of these backpacks and I can honestly say that they are incredible. The quality is astounding and neither of them even look like I've used them. Uh, after a few shoots with each of them, I would say this is probably where I'm leaning to the most. I like being able to have all of my gear in one spot at once, but I wish it had kind of this hard case front because I think the style on this one looks a little bit cooler. So which camera bag is right for you or have you found the elusive perfect backpack? I know neither of these backpacks are probably perfect for everyone, but the Pro One is just right for me. It fits all my gear, and hopefully this video helped you in finding a cool new backpack maybe you've never heard of. Let me know what you're using down in the description below. I'd love to chat with you guys. I respond to every comment I can, unless this video blows up and I get a million comments. I'd love to chat with you guys. So make sure you leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at A-C-D-E-B-A-C-A. -A. Like the video if you like it. Share with a friend who needs a rad new backpack at an awesome deal. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.